Welcome to prayer time and welcome to good news. Today we, we are going to be thanking God for all that he has done for us. God has been gracious. When we look around and we hear the news and we see what has been happening, our hearts might be quaking for fear. So today I want us to just lift up our voices and I want us to first let's give thanks to God because he has been good and his mercy towards us has truly, truly been abundant. Our Father, we are so grateful. We can come into your presence today, Lord God, with thanksgiving. We can come in with joy. We are thankful for all that you have done for us, for the many ways, Lord, in which you have visited us, for the great things that you have done in our lives. We lift you up, O God of heaven. We honor you. We exalt and magnify you. We are thankful. We are thankful, O God, for for your blessings, for your protection, for your goodness. Father, please receive our thanksgiving. We give you honor, we give you glory, we give you adoration. Father, we magnify your holy name. Be exalted, O oh Lord. You are the reason why we are standing. You are the reason we are alive. You are the reason, O oh God of heaven, that we can, Father, Lord God, that we can even come to you at a time like this and pour out our hearts. Father, Lord, we are grateful to you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Today I want us to stand, stand in the place of intercession first. We want to pray for nations. Nations are going through. Look at what is going on in Afghanistan. We want to pray. We want to pray for God's mercy. There are Christians in Afghanistan. Thank God. Thank God that there are Christians in there, people who during that window when the U.S. troops were there, were able to hear the gospel of Jesus. Thank God for those precious souls that now have Jesus, even though that nation is now declaring itself from because of the Taliban. The Taliban is saying that it's now the Islamic state of Afghanistan. But thank God for the seed of faith that has been planted. Let's just lift up our voices and say, Father, we commit all our brethren that are in Afghanistan Afghanistan into your hand. Every Christian, Lord God, we pray, we pray, we pray for encouragement. We pray, Lord God, Father, Lord, for strength. We pray for comfort. We pray for safety. Lord, please be with your children. Keep your children. Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus, reveal yourself to them, Lord, because what is going on, they need to see you. They need to hear you, oh God of heaven. Father, please do not let their faith wane. Do not let them be afraid. Lord God, let the boldness of a lion come upon them, the boldness that comes by the Spirit of God. Father, Lord, visit your children in Afghanistan right now. Every Christian, Lord, everyone who has given their life to Jesus, Father, visit them and strengthen them and encourage them. Please grant them wisdom to navigate the, in this very difficult time of, Father, Lord, in that nation as that that nation, the, 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 as the governing body declares it as the Islamic State of Afghanistan, as they declare oppression, as they declare affliction, Lord, as they declare com compulsory conversion to Islam, please, Lord, help those who know you, your children, the Christians who have surrendered their life to Jesus there. Lord, help them to remain standing, oh God. Help them to remain standing, Father. Help them to remain standing to the very end. Give them the courage. Give them the boldness, oh God. Please make a way for them, a way of escape in the name of Jesus, oh God of heaven. We commit them into your hand. Father, please please be with them, the men, the women, the children, all those, Lord, who are called by the name of Jesus in Afghanistan. Lord, we lift them to you. Father, please, please, Lord God, we ask for mercy. We ask for grace. We ask for your presence. We ask for angels, oh God, to be deployed to watch over this, your precious children. Father, Lord God, we believe that you hear us. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray for Haiti. There was an earthquake, 7.2. I don't know how they measure it. And there has been devastation. The hundreds died. Many wounded. Father, please have mercy. Have mercy, O oh God. 
The world has told God that we don't want God in our business. And then when these disasters happen, we look up to God and we say, where is God? Where is God? We are the ones who told him, hands off our business. We can run our affairs ourselves. But Father, we pray for Haiti. We pray for Haiti. We ask for mercy. We ask, oh God of heaven, you are the God of compassion. You are the God of love. We lift up this nation to you. They have been through so much. Father, please visit them. Father, please touch them. Father, please help them. Father, please make a way for them. Lord, please raise up people in that place, oh God of heaven, who will be able to lift this nation out of the trouble that it is in. My Father and my God, have mercy, have mercy. We pray for all the people in Haiti, O oh God. We ask for healing for those, O oh God, who have been wounded. Lord, in this, in, the, in, in, in this earthquake, we pray, Father, Lord God, for comfort for those who have lost loved ones. We pray, O oh God of heaven, for wisdom for those who are leading to know what to do and how to do. We pray for courage, O oh God, to those who have to sort through the rubble that the earthquake has created, the problems it has created. Father, we just ask for your intervention. We ask for your presence. We want you in the business of Haiti, O oh God. We want you in the business of our nations, O oh God. Lord, please do not leave us alone. Do not leave us alone. The devil is a wicked taskmaster. Lord, please have mercy, have mercy. Do not hand off our business, O oh God. Father, visit Haiti. Lord God, visit Haiti. Lord God, help Haiti. Almighty God, deliver Haiti. Lord God, have mercy on Haiti. Father, Lord God, we ask of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' most precious name we have prayed. We want to pray. We want to pray right now for the nation. We want to pray for America. The, the, the way the Delta variant is ravaging again. Ah, Father, Lord, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your grace. We pray, oh God, for an end to this, th 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 this virus. We stand against the lying spirit that has been deployed all over this nation and all over the world for that matter. L misinformation everywhere that is now causing an explosion in this, in, 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 in this virus. By now we should have been over and done with, with, this, with this COVID. But because of misinformation, because of lies from the pit of hell, people are not doing what they are supposed to do. People, some people still deny. Some people still say there's no such thing as, del as COVID. Some people st st still say, say that, you know, you, 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 you don't need to mask up. So, Father, please, we stand against the lies from the pit of hell that is making people to put their life and the life of other people at risk. Father, we ask for mercy. We ask for mercy. We ask, we shut down every lying spirit from the pit of hell, every spirit of deception, all the, the lies all over the social media, the airwaves everywhere, Lord, that is leading people to destruction. Father, by making them not do what they are supposed to to do to prevent the spread of this disease. Father, please have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. This issue of liberty, it is my life. I can do what I like. Father, please, this selfish, uh, this selfish attitude to life. Lord God, please, we ask in the name of Jesus that there will be an, a revival where people will, will know the love of Jesus, where people will know Jesus as Lord, where they will know Lord to love their neighbor more than themselves, where they will understand that if, if, if the meat I want to eat will make my neighbor die, then I will not eat meat. Oh, Father, Rabba Shanda la baraka shende le brohi maraga shala prohibo koroko sheke riba in the name of the Lord Jesus morobo kata kashanda bo korobo shirebo. Yeah, Father, Lord God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. We rebuke this COVID spirit in Jesus' name. We ask, oh God, darkness cannot overcome light. We pray the, the truth, oh God, will prevail. The light of your truth will shine. Lord God, your word says that the light shines and darkness is not able to comprehend it. We shut down darkness over our nations in the name of Jesus. Lord, please have mercy. 
bring a respite from this COVID that is ravaging the world. Have mercy, my father. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Father, please have mercy. In Jesus' most precious name we have prayed. We are looking at storms everywhere. Storms, Hurricane Fred or whatever. Storms destroying. Ah, Father, please. We pray in the name of Jesus. Every fires in California. Lord, we are asking. Everywhere that has gone out of control. With one climate, with, with, with one climate extreme or the other. Father, have mercy. Have mercy, Father. Your children live in these places. Have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy. Lord God, please do not regard the, 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 the lies of the devil. Do not regard, Lord God, the, 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 the sins, O oh God, or, or, or our sins, but have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Please do not let the deception of the devil carry us away. Have mercy, Father. Our Father, please have mercy. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I don't know about you, but just looking around, it is, I am so burdened. So burdened. We know that we are in the end times. But God said we are the salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. Father, we are still here. Your children are still here. Your church is still here. Do not let the darkness overrun us while your church is here, oh God. Your children are in all of these nations. Father, please do not let the wickedness of the wicked bring pain and suffering to your children. Have mercy, oh God until you take your church away to be with you. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy because of your children, Father. Because of your children, have mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. Remember, it's good news. Let's ask that God will send a revival. That all over the world, souls will be saved. All over the world, people will come to the realization that Jesus Christ is Lord indeed. Father, we lift up all the nations of the world to you. We pray there will be a mighty revival. Mighty revival, O God of heaven. With undeniable signs and wonders following. Lord, that you will strengthen the church of Jesus Christ. You will separate the chaff from the wheat. You will endow, Lord God, the genuine ministers of the gospel with power, O oh God, that you will do something new, that you will do something new, that, Lord God, your church will march forward and the gates of hell will not be able to prevail. Father, do a new work. Do a great work. Let the gospel of Jesus, Lord God, race through the world. Let there be a bountiful harvest of souls. People are crying out all over the world. Father, let them receive salvation. People are crying out with anguish, pain, and suffering. Lord, let them hear the good news of the gospel of Jesus. Let that gospel transform their lives. Let those who know you shine brighter and brighter and brighter that darkness will not be able to confront it. Everywhere, Lord God, the, the, the flag of extremism, the flag of, the, the, the flag of oppression, the flag of Islam, the flag of terrorism is being raised. Lord, let the light coming from your children shine bright, oh God undeniable righteousness, undeniable holiness, undeniable light, undeniable power in the name of Jesus. Lord, arise. Arise, O oh God, and let your children enter into their season of glory and of power. Let them shine as gross darkness settles over the whole earth. Let your church rise and shine. Let your children who are called by the name of Jesus rise and shine in the name of Jesus. Our Father, we honor and adore you. 
and we'll bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We have prayed for the whole world today. I want us to pray for ourselves. The word of God says, forgetting those things that are past. We look forward, pressing. So I want you to pray for yourself today. I'm asking God for grace for you. That will make you to continue to press forward until you receive that crown of glory. That you will press forward to victory. You will press forward to healing. You will press, some, of, some people under the sound of my voice have been on that sick bed. And you're about giving up. But I want you to press right now. To press one more time. Press forward in faith. And the mighty healing power of God will come upon you now as you listen to me. You are just about to give up. I pray for that person. It's like, it's like showers of cool water is flowing through you right now, falling on you. That's the healing presence of God. I pray for that person, Lord, that your healing presence will envelope them. That that sickness will be lifted away. It will disappear now under the sound of my voice. Those symptoms disappear now in the name of Jesus. I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to somebody specifically. Those symptoms are leaving you right now because God's healing power, you can, you can feel the drenching. It's like a drenching of water on you. That's the healing anointing flowing through you right now. Father, thank you. Thank you for that person. Lord, I pray for every other person watching today, listening, Lord, whatever may be the situation, I'm asking for a miracle. I'm asking for a blessing. I'm asking, Lord God, for a visitation. I'm asking, Lord God, for an answer to their prayers. I'm asking for a breakthrough and a deliverance. I'm asking, oh God, for a release for that person in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, thank you for all your children. Let it be well with them, Lord. Let there be a shout, a shout of joy, a shout of victory, a shout of celebration, a shout of testimony from your people in the name of Jesus. Father, we are so thankful and we honor you. We we'll bless your holy name in Jesus' most precious name. Amen and amen. It's been wonderful being with you today and I know God has done something in your life. I also believe that he has heard our prayers concerning all our various nations and I believe God that because of our prayer together today in faith that some people in some of these nations are going to receive the mercy, the grace and the deliverance of God that God will send angels out to some of his children and that God will help them. It is well with you. Thank you so much for joining me again as I bring you good news and I bring you a hope pill to keep you going and pressing forward in faith until your victory is delivered. It's Fumio Bilano on Reflections. God bless you.